about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. I felt just like Allen Iverson. We're not talking about a boxing match. We're talking about sparring. And content creators, Devontae David fanboys, have busted a nut on the Devontae David sparring clip that was released, which was basically a Javante Davis highlight sparring clip. That's what it was. A Javante Davis highlight sparring clip showed all his best moments in sparring. And this is the era we're into. People make a big deal out of sparring. And all it is is just practice. You know, it'd be like a rookie dunking on Michael Jordan in practice. Not a real game, it's just practice. And he dunks on him and they make a big deal out of it. Not to mention, this sparring happened, what, almost 10 years ago? Devin Haney was a 16 year old kid. And the fanboys, Mayweather, whoever, they could show highlight clips until their face turns blue. But at the end of the day, the Haney's walked away with the cash. And I see no arguments there. And if Tank was so confident, you know, since those clips show him dominating a sparring match, if Tank was so confident, he would fight Devin Haney at this moment, just like he did with Ryan Garcia. I've been saying this since day one. Sparring does not mean anything, especially if it was 10 years ago. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, y'all call him TBE, used to get his brakes beat off of him in sparring. I mean, to name a few, Paul Spatafora, Lamont Peterson broke his ribs, and Eric Terribre Morales almost made Floyd quit boxing. And not to mention, Dillian White knocked Fury out in sparring. But what happened when they really fought each other? Given the recent news, Canelo leaving PBC, would you consider a buyout of your PBC contract to cross the street for the Saul fight? Fuck no. David Benavidez stays loyal to the PBC, but does the PBC stay loyal to Benavidez? Because if they were loyal to him, they would have made sure that Benavidez was on that three fight deal. And you know, a lot of people, I will say a lot of people, Canelo haters, Canelo detractors, have been saying Canelo has been ducking David Benavidez. But two things stick out to me. If the PBC was down with David Benavidez, they would have put him in that three fight deal. And now David Benavidez is saying that he would not buy out his contract. He will not cross over to fight Canelo Alvarez. Now the question I have is even if he's not gonna cross over, how bad did David Benavidez want to fight with Canelo? Not bad enough to cross over, sacrifice, you look at the great champions in the past, how they became champions. Holyfield had to take a pay cut and be the B-side to Buster Douglas. Even Floyd Mayweather had to play the B-side to Oscar De La Hoya's A-side to become the A-side. He had to sacrifice. And it seems like David Benavides does not want to fight Canelo unless PBC is involved. I mean, we all heard Eddie Hearn's conversation with Samson. You know, he said that he told Samson if Canelo sides with him, he will make the Benavides fight. But Samson did not want to do it unless PBC was involved and Amazon was involved. And I guess Benavides and Samson got the message from Al Heyman. If Canelo leaves us, you're not going to be able to fight him unless your family, the PBC, gets a piece of the pie. So I don't want to hear any more talk about Canelo ducking because David Benavides is not willing to sacrifice or do what it takes to get his title shot. He has to remember, and the PBC has to remember, that David Benavides is the challenger. And the only way this fight is gonna be made, him and his team have to acknowledge they are the challengers and bow down to the A-side, who is King Canelo. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.